It's a national crisis that affects every single city in this country, whether it's metropolitan or rural. Homelessness has no boundaries. We have seen the horrors of homelessness rise in recent years. Reminders of encampments, people with signs on the side of the highway, and tent-filled communities are seen on the news every day. But it's a new outbreak within the homeless community that has lawmakers and citizens beginning to panic and wonder what should be done. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, outbreaks of hepatitis A have spread through Delaware, Florida, and South Carolina. And in California, a surge of typhus with typhoid fever popped up throughout the homeless community. As communicable diseases spread throughout American communities, federal and state officials are struggling to figure out ways to ease the homeless problem without burdening taxpayers. With the homeless, our streets and health at stake, what can be done to help the situation? Dr. Drew, this is a problem on so many levels and a pu true public health crisis. 100%. This is a mental health catastrophe. The vast majority of people on the streets have a mental health diagnosis. I've been out on the streets. 100% of the people I interact with have either a substance use or a major psychiatric disorder. Now, there are people that are transiently homeless on average spend about three months on the street and find their way off. There's lots of resources for them. We have to be very concerned about that population. They do not have a mental health diagnosis. But the, the people we see on the street in the tents that are so concerning to us, that are becoming the public health problem, mental health is the problem. We choked off our state mental health system. There is no constitutional mandate for our federal government to do anything about mental health, and we have no system of state mental health resources, so people go to the state. We, we belch people out of our state mental health hospitals into streets, nursing homes, and jails. They don't belong in the jails either, but this is a total mess, and in the meantime, they're languishing on the streets. You can't help them unless, they're, unless they want it, unless they ask for help. The rodents have overpopulated our city. I knew there was a problem when my own home became overrun by rats. I also have practiced medicine forever in the San Gabriel Valley, and I know when rats come, typhus follows. My own son had typhus. So lo and behold, outbreak of typhus. Now the big problem, we're in the middle of a typhus outbreak right now. Don't mistake that for typhoid fever. That's another thing we've got, which is a fecal oral borne illness, not a rat flea borne illness. We, typhus is what concerns me because what follows typhus is something called Ursinia pestis, also called bubonic plague. Bubonic plague. We have plague. The last plague outbreak in the country was in Los Angeles in the 1920s. Ursinia is in the squirrels. It gets into the rats. It's going to get into us. I've spoken to experts who say it's inevitable. I am profoundly concerned about us handling this problem before it's too late. And Dr. Drew, you as know, you stated, most homeless people have a mental health issue. They were lost to the system. Absolutely. They, they may have been seen at one time, but they're no, no longer on their medications until they have a true psychotic bad episode. They get arrested. Even. They get sent to the, to the mental health hospitals, which, are, which don't have enough room to handle them. It's a vicious circle. Correct.